is going on. To borrow some phrasing from Gen Z, I just cannot with the next story. Scrabble, that 75-year-old board game from giant corporation Mattel, is designed to test and improve your vocabulary. Well, Mattel has decided to hitch itself to the woke wagon and engage in an inclusivity drive. Now, let me quote this properly. Mattel has inclusivity and collaboration in mind where they want to encourage Scrabble players to reach collective goals rather than competing for high scores. They are concerned that younger generations find Scrabble too intimidating and so they will be printing a simpler version for, and I quote, those whose knowledge of dictionaries and thesauruses is limited. Scrabble Together is Mattel's solution to the problem of falling literacy standards after, and yes, this is their real research, found that young people had to look up words that they were unsure of when playing. God, the poor things having to consult Google to expand their knowledge. Commenting in the Daily Mail, the current UK number one Scrabble champion said, and I, I don't even want to read this, it sounds so pathetic. They said, the game speaks to a trend in younger people who want to avoid competitive games and a sense of losing, instead favouring teamwork and collaboration, working toward a fun goal together. What next? Monopoly without money? Battleships without the ships? Chess with no kings? Since when was the English language intimidating? Since when was competition in a board game scary rather than fun? What is this generation? Dumbing down Scrabble is a direct consequence of the education system failing our children. Our civilization started going downhill when teachers began giving out participation awards instead of victory medals, or saying that standardized testing was cruel and stressful when really those teachers were trying to hide their failure to successfully educate the next generation to a basic standard. Adults have used children as scapegoats for their failures for far too long. Inclusive Scrabble isn't a game, it's a stupid prize awarded to our society for playing stupid games with our youth. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not living in a democracy, we are living in an idiocracy. If you have one bucket that holds two gallons and another bucket that holds five gallons, how many buckets do you have? Two? Thank you. Lord, I'm willing to get the matter.